Welcome to Byte Further. In today's video, you'll learn how to fix iPhone 14 black screen problems. You might be scared when you're seeing a black screen of death on your iPhone 14. Luckily, you can attempt a few easy steps to fix iPhone 14 black screen before taking it in to have it repaired or replaced. Let's go over some cases and the possible causes first. If your iPhone 14 screen goes black randomly, the battery might be lacking power. If you have an iPhone 14 black screen but still on, like you can feel it vibrate and hear the sound, perhaps the operating system goes wrong because of software glitch or malfunctioning apps. If your iPhone 14 screen is black after an iOS update, that new iOS firmware could be the reason. It's also common that a broken screen or damaged internal components are also the possible causes for iPhone 14 black screen of death. Next, we list a handful of easy methods to solve this problem. Follow them in the order we show you until you get out of the black screen. Step 1. Plug iPhone 14 into charger. What you should first think of is whether your iPhone 14 battery is draining out. It's common that your iPhone 14 screen went black and became unresponsive if the battery has no power. So, use the Apple Genuine Lightning cable and charger to charge your iPhone 14. It's also worth inspecting if the charger, cable and power outlet are working well. To wake up a phone with a dead battery takes some time, like 30 minutes or an hour. You should see a red battery icon appearing and the phone itself should boot up. If not, go to the next step. Step 2. Force restart iPhone 14 while charging. Yes. Good old school method. Power off your iPhone 14 and then turn it back on. As you can't do a restart with a power off slider due to the black screen on iPhone 14, you might need to try to force restart the device with buttons. It's the same as doing a power cycle, so all your data will be safe. Go through these steps. Quickly press the volume up button then release. Quickly press the volume down button then release. Then, keep holding the side button until you see the Apple logo on the screen. A few seconds later, your iPhone 14 should turn on past the black screen and boot up. Step 3. Disconnect everything. It's a must-do check to look if your iPhone 14 is connected with external devices. For example, a computer, headphones, external speaker, printer, camera, and so on. If you do, disconnect all of them carefully. Also, take off the screen protector and phone case if you have one. They could sometimes render iPhone 14 black screen of death or iPhone 14 screen black but still working problems. Step 4. Upgrade iOS software on iPhone 14. Software updates often bring bug fixes, which makes it a feasible way to solve problems. As you can't enter the phone and update it through the settings app, you might need to try using iTunes or Finder on a computer. Alright, connect your iPhone 14 to the computer and open iTunes or Finder. If your device has been connected to this computer, your phone should show up. If not, you'll need to put the device into recovery mode to make the software detect the phone. Keep your iPhone 14 connected to the computer. Then, press some buttons in the following order. Quickly press then let go of the volume up button. Quickly press then let go of the volume down button. Press the power button and hold it until you see a black screen showing a laptop and a cable with a link pinned at the top. That's exactly the recovery mode. Feel free to make a few attempts if you fail. It's okay. Let your device remain untouched on the recovery mode and go back to the computer. From the iTunes or Finder window, click the update option available on the opening dialog box. It'll keep popping up a few windows to let you confirm. Just click accept, yes, or something like that until the update process is triggered. The process often takes one hour, which sometimes will be longer if the internet speed is low. If your iPhone 14 mistakenly exits recovery mode when the update doesn't complete, repeat the steps in the beginning to go into recovery mode and try again. When iTunes or Finder tells you that the update is done, your iPhone 14 will reboot. See if your iPhone 14 black screen is fixed and the device turns on as usual. Step 5. Check backups and do a reset. This is the last step you should attempt before taking your iPhone 14 to a repair store. Note that a factory reset will erase all the information on the device. Therefore, before you start to learn how to fix black screen on iPhone 14 by resetting it, please spend a few minutes to check if there is backup for your important data. Once you're ready to reset your phone, follow these instructions. Open PC or Mac, run iTunes or Finder, and plug your black screen iPhone 14 in into the machine. Next, put the device into recovery mode. Quickly press then let go of the volume up button. 
Quickly press then let go of the volume down button. Press the power button and hold it until you see a black screen showing a laptop and a cable with a link pinned at the top. From the iTunes or Finder window, click the Restore option available on the opening dialog box. It'll keep popping up a few windows to let you confirm. Finish the on-screen instructions until the restore process is triggered. Wait until your iPhone 14 reboot. If the cause is related to the software, a reset is enough to get your iPhone 14 out of the black screen. If the reset also doesn't work, you'd better take your phone to an Apple store close to you and check your iPhone 14 for any physical damage. That's all for how to fix an iPhone 14 black screen. If you find this video helps, please give it a thumbs up and share it via Facebook, Twitter, and so on to help others in need. Also, if you have any further questions, feel free to write them down in the comments below and I'll reply ASAP. To learn more tech tips about iPhones, subscribe to the Byte Further channel. Now, you can click another video on the screen to keep watching.